All right, y'all, look, early in the morning, I'm just getting up for real, but we finna hop on and do some live trading with y'all and show y'all, um, but hey, look, if it's anybody that's interested in making like an extra five to $10,000 a month, right, off of prop firms, get in my Discord. Y'all basically gonna get walked through the challenge and walk through the payouts. You know what I'm saying? A couple trades. So I'm basically trying to take Nas 100 up here. And you know what I'm saying? The entry that I wanted to get, I'm a little bit late on it, but we finna go ahead and still place this trade anyway. Um... We're gonna place a buy order on Nas 100. As you can see, I'm actually gonna go in with two, two 10 lots, since we got decent capital on the account. And basically, it's gonna be a quick trade, quicker than usual. Uh, let me show y'all what it was and what I was actually looking for. So as you can see, this is basically off a of bond open trade. You can see that Nas 100 had ended up Creating this fair value gap around like 8.15, 8.30 um, when NFP came out. And then we ended up coming back down and filling the gap on the 15 minute, right? But you even look at the five minute, you can see we had an order block right here. We had an order block right here. And, and th th these are the type of trades I really love to play on because those order blocks, they really, they really, um, price really respect it, right? But as you can see, we pushing out of that fair value gap now, we gotta have a target. So basically I'm trying to take it back up to the higher date. So basically above these highs up here, um, as you can see, it'd be at like 355. I expected to do a, a, a crazy push up, you know what I'm saying? To like 18,400, just because of how much momentum it got right now. So possibly up here and um, as far as like stop loss and stuff like that, I, I wouldn't let the trade go no lower than this right here. So currently we down about five thousand dollars on the trade, um, which I'm cool with, cause we got so much profit on the account. I could risk a little, I could risk that amount of money and, and, and be safe, right? Um, and actually. I'm not gonna go in with no more lots because I might be I might be too over leveraged. I forgot this Nas. Forex pays and gold and stuff I could do that on, but Nas be moving way too many pips in in, in, in too little time. So as you can see right now, we down 6k. Not tripping on it. Um like I said, I want to see price reject out of this box and looking at the fact that we pushed above this five minute candle right here, uh going toward the upside. Even if we come back down and take out this low, um, I still believe that the trade is going to end up pushing up there. And if it do break this low and push down into this this order block a little more, I'll just add another entry, honestly. So, actually, I'm going to. I place one more buy on odds because they, they gave me the pull back and draw down. I'm going to take it. So, let's see what happened. Down about 5, 6K. Um... And yeah, I'm expecting for them to to retrace off of this. Like I said, they could push a little bit deeper down into it, possibly taking out this low. But after they do that, I'm expecting for them to run to the upside if they take the low up. All right, so look. Y'all see how price ended up working both sides of that, um, ended up working both sides of this candle, right? It's, this literally a cheat code. Anytime you see price trending in one direction, Especially after it's hopping to like a PDA rate, like a fair value gap or order block, and you see that candle that actually was the candle that tapped into that PDA rate. If price break that candle's high, right? Going, it's safe as we going to the upside. Price break that candle high, and then they come down and take out the low of that candle. Expect the next couple candles to continue to go into the into that direction, into the uh to the upside. So I'm gonna let this candle close. I got about 10 more seconds left on it. And as long as we don't break below, you know what I'm saying? Ideally, the opening of this candle, we should be still good to hold this trade. And then you see how this gray box is my fair value gap, right? You see how this candle right here closed exactly inside that fair value gap? We should see this candle try to make another low, right? Get some type of wick to the downside and then continue to go up. And that'd be kind of like a little uh, lower time frame swing high i mean swing low so as you can see right now we down like 6500 
if we go up, this trade should pay out a decent amount, even though we in drawdown. We don't trip off drawdown, bro, especially when we in profit on this account. Like, if I made so much profit this week, I could risk half of this account if I wanted to, even though I'm not going to do that on the last day of the week. But if I wanted to, you know what I'm saying, I could. But we down 5K right now. Price going to end up going back up in profit for us. We should see this trade run up above 18,355. I haven't really been looking at no other pairs today. US 30 was fire. I was actually about to take US 30, right? I wanted US 30 to do what Nas 100 did, which is push down into this order block right here, right? They ended up pushing into the gap and just rejecting right off of it. That's why sometimes you just got to pull it as soon as they get into the gap. But uh, I would have loved to catch US 30. But now it's looking like it's going to do something as well. So hopefully, hopefully it do give us that trade. We break above. It, we, it'll be nice seeing, seeing how far US 30 push up. Because if US 30 continue to go up, then we know for a fact that we're going to get a nice little, a nice little move on, on Nas 100 going toward the upside. It's really no nothing over here because Nas is at all time highs, I believe. So the only thing we could really do is wait and see. If they try to push up the 18400 since we is in the 350 area uh we should be able to push up the 400 though so we could gain a possible 100 pips off this trade if we hold it at 18400 um especially the way this hourly candle looking i like that how, how bullish it's looking so 18400 is our next institutional level even though it's no price action right there at 18400 i'm basically going off the fact that us 30 is giving us the same setup right and us 30 got highs um it still got market structure on us 30 above where price is at so that that's letting me know that nas 100 could see a, a nice spike above you know what i'm saying 18400 so all it is is a patience game now we just wait and see if this trade gonna do something for us and the, another thing is they you know what i'm saying it's Friday. A lot of the times the market will on Fridays usually like expand in the direction that they want to close for the week, right? So say for instance, we bullish, right? So we expecting this weekly candle to close bullish. We should see like an impulsive move toward the upside, but then we should see some type of sell off to, to, to end the day. You get what I'm saying? So we look for that impulsive move up and then we look for a sell off that to, to happen. Um, for the end of the week but we not gonna take no sale we just looking for this 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 move right here i'm gonna try to hold this trade all the way to 18 400 today even though i really want to get out right here depending on how much money i'm up at 350 i might get out but you know what i'm saying we gonna see if we could go to 18 400 and like i said i want to see this five minute candle right here put some type of low in like some type of wick toward the downside first because well it didn't it closed without putting the wick but We'll see what these next couple candles do. I do like how it how it closed inside that gap though. Anytime I see that, I know price is respecting that gap. And we should see, you know what I'm saying, see some type of uh liquidity grab after that. Now I'm just in the flow of like just recording everything. Even if I get on the charts and I lose, I'm thinking about starting to upload the losing trades as well, right? Just so y'all can learn. Cause I don't just win trades all the time. You know what I'm saying? I lose the same way I win big amounts, I lose big amounts too. You know what I'm saying? I lose smaller amounts more than I lose bigger amounts, but sometimes I do lose trades, and I feel like that'd be good to show y'all too, so y'all can see like the transparency of it. You get what I'm saying? And seeing how I bounce back from a loss after I take one. You get what I'm saying? So let me know if y'all would be interested in seeing those type of videos, because I don't think I see videos on YouTube with people actually doing like videos where they uploading the losses. You get what I'm saying? But let's check our trade and see what we up. We just starting to go in profit right now. We about. Three hundred dollars in profit was about seven thousand dollars in drawdown. Uh, so now these trades finally back towards like break even, and we starting to push up toward the upside. Um, the numbers is different on on Hanko Trade ACT Trader from Trading View. So you see price at eighteen three oh seven right here, and on here it's at eighteen three twenty seven. So it's like twenty pips behind on Trading View. Or 20 pips ahead on on ACT trade like the number so as y'all can see we up six thousand dollars in this trade after being down about seven thousand um and like I said y'all see how price was closed inside the fair value gap always pay attention to that if you see price closing inside that gap like that bro it's gonna hold 
You know what I'm saying? So now we almost at the higher day. And like I said, it's based off what US 30 did, you see that impulsive move US 30 made, I'm expecting Nas 100 to flow through this level. So this gonna be the only trade of the week that I actually sit here and hold, like hold a little bit longer. Cause usually I just get out. If I'm in profit a certain amount, like say as we come up here and we take out this high, I will just get out the trade. But I'm gonna give it a chance to, to show me something. Let's see if we could come up here and, and shoot above 350 and top 18400. So, right now we about seven thousand dollars in profit. Like I said, if this trade hit 18400, we'd be up a lot of money, and it'll be a good trade to end the week off. I'm really waiting to see what happened after 10 o'clock. That's why I'm holding the trade because after 10 o'clock it should do something. You know what I'm saying? Start looking for a silver bullet or something. Um, depending on how this candle right here closed, we could see a retracement back down into this gap. I'm going to mark this off just in case it become a fair value gap and I forget. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use lines instead because I don't want y'all getting confused with the boxes overlapping each other. But yeah, let's see what happens. We definitely about to go up here and grab this high though. All right, so we pushing up. We about at 7,000 profit again. I'm trying to see this high get taken out. It's taking forever, but 10 o'clock, like eight minutes away. So I ain't really expecting no explosive move to happen until after 10. Um, Yeah, we just waiting to see what this this, this five minute candle right here do. We got about a minute left on it, two minutes before it closed. Like I said, if this turned into a fair value gap right here, I may or may not scale in because at the end of the day, at this point we at now, I could literally just have my stop loss down here at the bottom of this fair value gap. Because if it come all the way back down here and touch this, then it's going to break and probably go down here. So I could even have my stop at the low of this candle for all of my entries. Or I could put it at the low of the fair value gap and the, and the entry, you know what I'm saying? The trade should be protected right there. If it go in the, if it go down there, you got to just be Ain't no guessing whether it's going to continue to go up after that. It's, if it come down there, we get out the trade. You always got to have those mental levels where you like, bro, if, okay, based off what the market is doing right now, if it come back to this area, I got to get out. No if, ands, or buts. A lot of the times we get into trades and we uh, say, all right, cool, we're going to get out right here, price come back. And when price come back, we say, oh, let's see if it's going to reject off this area. No, bro, it came back down there. It wasn't supposed to do that. I'm looking for price to go in this direction right i'm not looking for it to come back down here again after i get my entries you get what i'm saying so if it come back down here especially with the amount of entries that i got on i'll get out because i know they probably gonna come down here after that so we about to see what happened though see if we could catch this move but uh, we super close to taking out this high us 30 still pushing up good sign spx pushing up good sign spx actually be having some really clean trade so I, i'm low-key starting to think i want to trade spx because look at how clean spx was the wick down here not is crucial it topped into that uh fair value got really clean and we would have been able to still get a nice risk to reward right here and been up right now so you're gonna see though but as you can see nas 100 finally pushing up and breaking up toward the upside we up ten thousand dollars right now um Let's see what happened though. 18,350. Right now we have 12,000. I'm gonna close all these trades out. I'm not gonna give it a chance to come back against me. I was gonna hold it longer, but I'd take that 12,000. Like I said, I started this account off at 15, no, 18K. It was an $18,000 account. Balance at 45,000 now. So that's, that's great for me to be doing that in just this week alone. So I'm gonna get off the charts this Friday. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. Just be showing y'all how I be making money in the markets and how I trade um, every morning, every day. A lot of the, I ain't gonna lie. Recently, I've been trading a silver bullet less than I used than I used to. Right, the silver bullet used to be like my go-to trading strategy, but now I just get on the charts right before 9:30, and I actually like that 9:30 move better than that silver bullet. If you want me to be honest with you, because I feel like the 9:30 move give you more momentum. And it's early in the day. So 
it's like if I could get the entry down here, why would I want to wait to 10 o'clock to see if it's going to pull back down into this and go up, right? I would rather have the entry down here. So then if, if 10 o'clock did come and I wanted to scale in, I could just scale in right here at the silver bullet versus the silver bullet being my main entry. You get what I'm saying? So hopefully y'all been learning how I've been trading because I've been doing this trade pack, this trade setup for the past couple of videos. I haven't been trading this of a bullet. I've been trading a 930 bond open and catching a move. But like I said, this video getting too long now. Hopefully y'all enjoyed it. About to go on with the rest of my days, the weekend, about to have some fun. Hopefully y'all enjoyed the video and learned something. If you did, make sure you drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. And like I said, if you want to start getting into some live trading with me next week in my Discord, if you a prop firm trader and want to get funded, get in my Discord. Bro. I'm going to be active next week with y'all. And yeah, I'm going to see y'all in my next video. Peace.